be really clean with your timing. So it can be really hard for Ness to get in. I think what we need from Ness is stay above Kirby. Because mm -hmm. if Kirby is above Ness, you're that's not a fun matchup. No, <laughs> you, you have to worry about that dare, yeah. that nooch, that back air. Yes. There's too many things that you have to worry about. So yeah, for sure. let's see. Position is what it's going to come down to. But also, as far as edge guards, I think it's safe to say that as soon as Ness gets off, it's all up to the Kirby. At that point, it's his stock to lose, yes. right? Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. So uh, especially out there, because there's a similar problem that you have with Fox as, with, as well as with Ness, which is the startup time before you can travel yeah. up to the stage, right? right? And it's those times, if you're not positioned correctly, you get capitalized on pretty hard. Yeah, it's, it's really hard for Ness to recover, right? Because like, if you recover low, you're dead against Kirby. Down tilt covers like every option. Yeah. If you recover mid or high, you're still kind of in a bad situation. Oh, yeah. like, um, so it's all about positioning. Is there any ways that you can use SDI to kind of help save you when you're coming from those lower angles with Ness? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you can kind of hit that stage DI and get a second chance or third chance at recovery. So um, let's see if the execution's there from a Crew Phoenix. Yeah. As he's going to take again, take on OK User. Exactly what I was talking about earlier, right? Yeah. Uh, that was Kirby's stock. As soon as Ness is off stage, that is Kirby's to take. Let's Ooh. see if Ryan can capitalize on this. Guessing chases. right on the tech chases. Yeah, really good tech chases. I wanted to see like another dare and then a follow up um, to maybe an up air. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He doesn't have a jump. Uh, yeah, see, what I wanted from the Kirby there is a nooch. Mm. That, that nooch. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Ness, didn't have a, Ness didn't have a jump. Um, so he only had his up B left. Um, and so he drilled him and he gave him his jump back. He should have just nooch. Now, the big thing that I will say is that, especially with how easy it is to edge guard against Ness, if you can continue those neutral airs at the right timings, you can at least, at the very least, push them closer off stage and then wait their decision making, right? So, uh, you mean S Kirby? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh. Ooh, oh, here comes, here comes. Shield break. Oh, he actually delayed just slightly. Yeah, yeah, he could have he could have gotten a shield break. But yeah, so this is. Oh. He'll lose the stock. He doesn't yeah. care. Yeah. He's good. <laughs> I got how oh, many socks up? <laughs> We're good. The sadness in my voice. I was just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Suicide there. Oh yeah. gosh. That's I, um that's something that like when you when you play this game with the zero to death combos, especially in four stock, we've recently made a switch from five to four. Yeah. Every stock matters. If you can get away with not suicide daring, even if you're at 80 or 90 percent, always like keep your stock. Mm. You know, keep your stock. And he could have there. He could have just avoided fast falling and kept his stock. Mm. Especially at four stocks, you have so few. Like that game was probably less than two minutes, three minutes. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, I think that that's one of my favorite things about 64 is the lethality that comes with it, right? Everything goes so quickly yeah. uh, as far as your stocks go because, uh, like, the combo game that you'll see is insane. I, I think right now, a Phoenix is. Does he have any other Yoshi, characters? Yeah, he's thinking about it. Yeah. Oh man, I think he's gonna do it. I would <laughs> rather take that I over Ness. Do it. Do it. Because at least then you have double jump back on a sage, which you can super yeah. armor through the dares. Yeah. And the down tilts. It's it's a little bit of a better matchup for sure than Ness Kirby too. Ness is his main. That's his tried and true. He knows that better. But um, it's just better matchup in general. To play Yoshi. I mean, in these situations, though, Ooh, you nice. can use the double jump yeah. there. Get through those up tilts. <laughs> nice, Ryan. I see you. <laughs> Tech chase. He has center stage again. Perfect pivot up tilt. Let's see if he capitalizes. Oh, okay. So in this match, that might kill. I'm not sure. In this match, it's really important to know uh, and, and keep track of percents. Because uh -huh. of Yoshi's super armor, uh, aerials will break at different percents. Now, like, I have certain percents memorized. And so Yoshi was at like 89% or something, and he was recovering. Mm -hmm. uh, a Nair or a Bear uh, should have broken armor. So if he went out and used either one of those moves, it would have broken armor. But instead, he fared and let the Yoshi back on stage. Interesting. Um, so percents are really important in this matchup. Is there any situations, or uh, or do you see a lot of Yoshis that are, are still getting accl uh, acclimated and using parries a bit more frequently? Is that something that Phoenix has been working on? I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I think parries are, in my opinion, one of the hardest things to do with Yoshi. Like, it's like kind of the last thing that you learn with Yoshi. After you've ascended to the mountaintop. Yeah. And you're meditating yeah. on the top. <laughs> you're trying to learn how to parry. Yes, right. You're trying to time your Z button press. Um, and so uh, I think that's just like a really, a really high level meta move. Um, and that's kind of the last thing you pick up with Yoshi. Um, I think Ryan has a ways to go before he gets that, that parry, <laughs> you know. Um, we're to edge guard here using eggs and whatnot. Yeah. 
he uh that's that's valid but he did one too many and he missed his opportunity to oh. to down tilt yeah i think he parried that F -match. yes to do to do like <laughs> something on stage yeah <laughs> As I talk about the uh, the parry ascension, he parries. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. I don't think he has to jump. Oh, yeah. tech chase with dare. Follow up. Oh, yeah. those are the situations where I get greedy and I go for F smash. That, uh, see, an F smash that that might have worked because he didn't have a jump. Ooh. Um, because he didn't have a jump, you want to go for an option that gets him off stage, as opposed to like a tech chase option, because you will give him his jump back. And in that situation. He just went straight down, even while he's yes. shielding at the edge. <laughs> Did he hold his shield slightly outward, and that was the reason why? Yeah, so, like, uh, shield pressure in this game, like, kind of pushes you a little bit as mm -hmm. well. So, like, if you drill with Kirby, um, you can kind of, like, push them off stage a little bit. And once you pass that ledge, the shield drops, and it, the air...